So hello to all the viewers. I'm Dr. Rahul Dajeev, faculty at uh, Doc Tutorials. And I'm so happy to introduce Dr. Pooja Rani, who has got an amazing rank of uh, an AIMS merit list rank of three and a common merit list rank of six in the INISS DM Neurology entrance exam. And uh, everyone knows how competitive these exams are. And to get a single digit rank in both the AIMS merit list and common merit list, only very few can actually do that. So hearty congratulations, uh, uh, Dr. Puja. Thank you so much, sir. So Puja, uh, first of all, um, the viewers would want to know more about you. So where are you actually from and where did you do your MBBS and post-graduation from? Yeah, sir, I'm basically belonging to Haryana. I did my MBBS from BMMC and Sabdajang Hospital. Then I did my MD from RML Hospital. Okay. I was currently working as an SR in RML Hospital itself. All right. Yes, sir. So first of all, uh, Puja, uh, why neurology as a specialty? Why? So by seeing clinical cases, I found neurology is very interesting as compared to other branches like cardio, gastro, or some other topics. I found neurology is very interesting where we can make the diagnosis clinically and then can confirm it by imaging or further evaluation. So as you rightly said, uh, this is one branch where you have a very good balance between the theory part and the clinical examination part. And... Uh, a lot of logical reasoning also goes into evaluation of uh, neurological cases. So that's great. Yes, sir. Uh, coming to your preparation, uh, Puja, first we'll discuss about the, uh, the theory exam. And after that, we'll move on to the interview round because you have performed very well in both. So you'll be able to give the future aspirants a very good idea. So first of yes, all, sir. coming to the uh, the question paper. So what was the overall difficulty level? How would you rate it? Was it very tough, average? How would you rate it this time? So some of the questions were very easy, like 50% of the question paper was very easy. Some questions were tricky, like 10 to 20% of the questions were very tricky. Like we have to find out the negative, like we have to exclude the other reasons and finally reaching at the correct option, but basically by excluding the other options. Okay. But 50% of the pay question paper was really very easy. Like it was directly from notes or the questions which were given your, in your test series or the topic-wise tests. Okay. So uh, regarding uh, how doc tutorials actually helped you, first of all, coming to the video lectures. So how did you find the video lectures in doc tutorials and uh, was it helpful in your uh, exam preparation? Yes, sir. It was really helpful because I listen to almost all the videos of yours and I try to make notes from them. The concepts were very clear via your videos. I could understand a lot of new concepts which I was not aware of initially via your videos. And I try to make notes and revise those notes again and again. So it was really helpful. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, in any competitive exam, along with uh, studying the theory part of it, MCQ practice is important. Yes, and, sir. Uh, in doc tutorials, we have got a structured question bank with a range of questions. Yes, sir. Included clinical alone. There are factual questions, clinical, because as you know, in exams, there is certain exams are more clinical, certain yes, exams sir. are more factual. Even INI itself, yes, if you take the last few INIs, some of the INIs have been clinical, some of the INIs had a good number of factual yes, questions. Sir. So, how did you find the questions to my Sir, I found the questions were very helpful. Initially, I tried to attempt the questions topic-wise. And then subsequently, I went ahead with the grant test series, including both NEET SS pattern and as well as an INIS, INI SS pattern. So many of the questions were directly from the grant test series and the topics also. I found, I think, 20 or 25 questions were directly from the test series itself. All right. Because uh, yes. for the viewers, um, 
see in doc tutorials in addition to the video lectures and the QBank. We have made it a point to conduct exams, topic-wise exams and subject-wise exams and yes. grant them as well. So as to have a, a, you know, a good assessment of yourself. So that would also uh, definitely contribute to a preparation because it's not just about reading alone. It's about practicing as well. Agreed, sir. Yeah. And uh, coming to the uh, interview round. So once you were done with the theory part, you got selected for the interview. So uh, for the interview round, uh, we had actually formed a WhatsApp group of our students preparing for the interview round. And in that group, I had shared the last few years interview questions. So, and also we did multiple mock sessions as well, mock interview sessions, uh, because see, there is uh, a weightage to the interview as well, 20 marks. So uh, how did the inter mock interview sessions and the questions that I shared in the group help you? Sir, my two questions were belonging to your, like the questions which you discussed or shared in the group. The, my questions were from those questions only. And the way you taught how to read a CT or MRI imaging, that was very helpful. The way we should describe the CT or the MRI imaging findings and how to answer a question in a balanced way, not to be in a hurry, that was really helpful. I just tried the way you told to practice in front of a mirror. That was really, really amazing. And it helped me a lot to go via interview. Now, this is also very important for future aspirants because interview round is, uh, again, a totally different ballgame. Because in theory, you are reading, you are practicing MCQs, but in interview, it's like you're performing in front of someone who you, you do not know. A random faculty from Ames will be asking you. There are multiple faculties, all eminent faculties, and uh, you've got to get yourself trained to a proper way of answering, not beating around the bush to the point answering. And also, you should answer with good clinical logic as well. So that is how you get good marks in an in interview as well. Because see, in her case, your common merit list rank was six, correct? And yes, uh, from improved to three, which means you have performed very well in the interview as well, correct? Yes. Yeah. So how much how much marks did you get for the interview round out of twenty? So fifteen. Fifteen. So it is mm. it is very good because uh, I think rank one and two also got. 16. So you almost got uh, close to that. Uh, so it's a good performance yes. uh, in the interview as well. Now, uh, I'm sure, you know, you have, you have now the opportunity to take probably any INI in the country. But uh, Puja, you know, which institute are you opting for? Sir, I will be opting for Delhi in Zoom. As I belong, I, as I stay in Delhi oh. currently and my family is in Delhi. So I will be preparing oh. Delhi only. Yes, sir. So, who, who all are at family? Sir, my husband is there. In-laws are there. Like, I have a big family. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, great. great, great. All right. So, uh, see, the day that the results came, Puja, what was the feeling? You know, I'm sure, you know, you have worked very, very hard. But uh, because neat SS, you could not perform to your potential. But seeing that result after, you know, so much of hard work, what was that feeling? So it, it was really overwhelming. It was really beyond expectations. I checked my roll number three, four times because I thought that it is next to impossible. It is not possible for me to get such a good rank. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So very happy for you, Dr. Pooja. Thank you and, so much, uh, sir. This is an amazing achievement. And uh, you're someone who chose neurology because of the love for the subject. Because, uh, you know, you felt that okay, this is one subject which has a good balance of theory and clinics. And I'm sure that you're going to excel in the future as a neurologist as well. So all the best, uh, Dr. Pooja. And, uh, Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Uh, all success in life. Thank you so Thank much, you so much. sir. It was impossible without your guidance. Really, really. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah.
Thanks a lot for the kind words. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Thank you so much, Pooja.